So I ask you, where have you been? Where are you going? Why are you going? And then look, look at what is said next, because it begets the question, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you spinning your wheels in religious tradition? Are you holding back in the darkness of a cave on defense, just trying to not lose what you have? Or are you living on offense, embracing the warfare that God has called and created you for as a disciple? Look at what happens next. We see in verse 22, they were strengthening the souls of the disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith. Strengthening souls. What are you doing, friend, to strengthen fellow souls? What are you doing, personally, to strengthen fellow souls? Iron sharpens iron. Coming alongside and helping another to be more Christ-like, to be more commissioned, to be more committed to the commands of Christ. Are you strengthening? That's what they're doing. That's what church does. That's what the essence and the environment of being is we come alongside and we help strengthen the souls. How? By encouraging the disciples. Take that word apart. And it's bringing courage to others actively, reminding the church what it is to be the church. It's not, oh, psst, you need to go to a church. Yeah, you need to go do something. No, it's calling us to be. Have the courage to be Christ-like. Have the courage to not only champion the Christ that saved you, but have the courage to go to Derby. Have the courage to go back to Lystra, to go back to Iconia, to go back to Antioch. I don't care who's chasing you. You're an ambassador of the king. Encourage the disciples to be disciples. They're strengthening. They are encouraging. They are urging obedience. They are urging others to obedience. I urge you to accept this admonition to obey. And fourthly, they are inspiring faithfulness. You say, where's the inspiration? They showed up. Aren't you the guys that they tried to kill? Yes, we are. What are you doing? We're standing for our Christ and we're sharing the gospel because you need to surrender. And apparently the first time it didn't work, so I'm coming back. Do you know what might happen to you? It doesn't doesn't matter what happens to me. I've already laid down my life for my Christ. You can't kill me again. I died to self. I've been born again. There's nothing here, nothing here to scare me away. Now, let's just be honest. You know what that talk is? That's crazy talk, right? Pastor Jeff, that, you know, that's just crazy talk. You, 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 know, you can't expect us to be Paul and Barnabas. Yes, I can. What makes the big hitter the big hitter? The big spirit of God. And if you're a Christian, you have him. I call you to be who you've been created to be and recognize that God may use you to strengthen other souls, to encourage the disciples, to urge obedience as it's needed, and to inspire faithfulness. And when that happens, you and I don't know what God might do.